Well, hello there, friends and family. So good to see you again. And as you can see, we're back in the focus. But we're not going to be riding very far. But we are going to be taking a little short ride if you'd like to come along with me. And there's plenty of room in the focus. It holds, you know, up to six, sometimes 10,000. So jump on in, buckle up, behave. And uh, any of you who want to ride in the world famous rumble seat, aka trunk, you're more than welcome. Anyway, y'all been here before, but I haven't been here to do a major shopping run since January the 26th, 2022. So hey, hop on in and let's take a short ride and go shopping and see what it's like and feel the pain of inflation. <laughs> so come on. Well, here we go. Everybody's situated now, all buckled in. So I think we can get there. It ain't gonna take but a minute or two, as most of y'all know. I got the air on pretty much wide open. But it says it's 90 degrees. Not sure if that's 90 degrees in the car or 90 degrees outside. When I looked, oh, the temperature at my place outdoors in the shade was, oh, about 83, 84. But it's a little toast in the car right now. It'll be okay. Like I said, it's only gonna take a minute to get where we're going. So hang on, we're on our way. Woo. Not quite a clear blue sky today, but I'll take it. Just a little bit, partly cloudy, mostly partly, and not mostly cloudy. Woo. Now, let's see if we can go here without anybody whipping on in there without the blinker on and killing us. That's a bad place to make a left-hand turn. People will zip on in there and never let you know they're coming. Oh, the pecans are out now in full leaf and the catkins are hanging on them. Pretty soon they'll be blooming. You know, they got a little catkin similar to what an oak has. And uh, that's what, you know, gets pollinated and what forms the bunches of pecans. Yeah, and if you look closely, we got pecan trees everywhere. It used to be a major agricultural venture here in this part of Alabama. Not so much anymore. In fact, overall, around my area, agriculture is in great decline. People just don't want to farm anymore. It's too hard to work. Surely it is. I would know. I did it for quite a many years of my life. Growing up, then I uh, had my own place there for, well, actually two of them for going on, oh, whew, about 15 years. Now you might say, well, Mr. Tom, you were a working engineer. Oh yeah, I was that too. The farm was my second job. Corporate engineering was my first job. And if you'll dig into it, a whole bunch of farmers out there, they have uh, second jobs. Or the, you know, man or husband farms and the wife works a public job for, you know, insurance and benefits. Oh yeah, it's quite common. But I'm hoping where we're going is uh, not so busy. And uh, remember y'all, you have to be quiet. You have to behave, sit down in the buggy. Yep, I'm giving it away, ain't I? Yep, I surely am. And don't be throwing stuff in the buggy when I'm not looking, okay? 
I'm telling you, when we get to the checkout counter and it ain't on the list, it ain't going home with us. Unless I see some people getting out some cash out of some wallets and purses. Do you hear me? Yep, ain't gonna be a minute. And you can already start to see it, in case you didn't know. And haven't been with our community very long. We're going to my locally owned and run Super Foods. Where they know you by name. And they're always welcoming you that you came. Yeah, it don't look like many people are here. Good thing. So we'll head her on in, people getting those plants for that garden. And they got a pile of them. I think we'll look at them tomorrow. What y'all think? But let's go in, do some shopping, okay? Okay, y'all, be quiet and behave in the buggy. Here we go. Yep, we're at the world famous, locally owned and operated Super Foods. And we're gonna head over here as always to the bananas but I gotta stop and look at these Vienna prices you know gourmet Vienna sausages from Vienna Woo, those Vienna sausages have got pricey 56 cents to 98 depending on the brand and the flavor but we're gonna get some of these nanners which appear to be still 35 cents a pound. Who knew? <coughs> now we're off to get some bread. Store bread is up to $1.33. Remember when it was 80 cents? That ain't been that long ago. But we're going to get a giant loaf of my favorite sunbeam. Surely we are. And that's going to run me $2.62. But I've got to where I can stretch a loaf of bread till it screams mercy. Get some hot dog buns for $1.12. They used to be, what, 80 cents too? Now I'm going to get some of Dave's awesome bagels, but I don't know the cost. You know, it's sort of a want, a luxury, not a need. Got me a bottle of Forella Ranch Dressing, 16 ounces, $1.45. We'll try it. I couldn't believe I was all out of ranch. <laughs> I mean, who runs out of ranch, right? Well, I got to go over here and see if they got any olives. You know, olives have been hard to come by. Now they didn't have no whole green olives, like I say. They're getting pricey and in short supply because of all those there olive trees that died over in Greece and Spain. And then they had the wildfires that burned up a bunch of them. But I'm gonna get me some of this here, Mario salad sliced green olives. Since I wanna use them for a couple of dishes and in my salads, these'll work. $2.03. Well, we got sweet potatoes here for $1.29 or the micro sweet potato for $1.18. Nah, I ain't sure what the difference is. <laughs> Lettuce gonna run us $1.55 a head. Well, I've seen it higher and I've seen it lower. It's some pretty good. It's the Vanguard brand from out there in Salinas, California. Well, that's a nice big head. Yep. That one's a good looking one too. We'll go with this one. Woo! We'll pass up the bag of lettuces. You know what? I know how to chop my lettuce up. And my cabbage. Of course, I must admit, Getting those uh, cabbage mixes is a time saver. Celery's gonna run us a buck fifty. 
a bunch and we got to have it. Some more of that there fine Vanguard brand from Salinas, California for $1.50. I want you to look real closely how many times we've had to put stickers on. I know it's been way higher. Of course, in the past, it's been way lower. Yep, but that'll be okay. Okay. We need some green bell peppers. And we got some fine looking ones here. 248 for two. Yep, that's pricey. But it ain't as pricey as these colorful ones. Three for five, 85. And that's a product of Canada. I don't know where these came from. Hmm. It says product of. <laughs> no sticker. But we're going to go with them. Woo. We're good on the garlic. Which, you know, depending on what you want. 217. You know, for real garlic heads. I think you get like eight of them in there. Or two for 97. Of course, they got all that there chopped garlic for those that don't like chopping their garlic. And don't like fresh. Hmm. Then we got our apples. Those red delicious look nice. Dollar ten a pound. Granny Smith, dollar oh nine. Pink ladies are dollar thirty-five pound. Naval oranges, 81 cents each. <laughs> and of course you can see Gala there for buck twenty-nine. Pink grapefruit, dollar oh seven each. Fuji apples, dollar fourteen. And the honey crisp. Woo! They proud. Dollar eighty-nine. And of course you can get the bag ones. Which they're a little smaller and then different grade. They still eat though. Yep. We need some taters, okay? So, the butter golds are gonna be five pounds for 2.91. Nope. Baby reds, 3.21 for three pounds. Nope. Or we can go up here, five pounds of red potatoes for 4.49. Potatoes have gone up, ain't they, guys? And we got Idaho's, five pounds here for four dollars. Or we can go with the Dole Idaho's, 10 pound for 8.13. Let me look on the other side. Potatoes have gone up. I wonder if they're that high where y'all are. So, we're gonna get over here to the russets from Dole, a four pound bag, 2.24. That's about as cheap as it comes. Unless you want to get a pile of them. If I had a family, I would, but it's just me, they'll go bad. So we're gonna get a four pound bag for 224. Get you a pineapple there for two thirty. More honeydew for six thirty one. Cantaloupes five thirty nine each. Ooh, corn. Three forty five. Three years. And asparagus three sixty five a pound. Now I do love asparagus. Or you can get you some pine okra there. Right there. $4.29 a pound. Hmm. Of course, it is out of season. $2.24 a pound for those there fine jalapenos. And we got yellow squash for $1.79. Fresh broccoli, $2.39 a pound. 
Or you can get some yellow squash sliced up for you for two nineteen. Or some whole zucchinis for a dollar fifty nine. I do love squash. Some green beans. Dollar forty nine a pound. That ain't bad. You see, fresh food is going up, but not as much as meat and processed foods. Yep. So hey, you can still eat right over here in the fresh section. Green onions are 53 cents. Those have come down. Red cabbage, dollar a pound. And the green cabbage, 49 cents a pound. I think I'll get me a small one. That one right there. Or nope, this one. Let me get one of them there bags. Because I, I can chop up my own cabbage. Okay? Y'all get back in the buggy. There we go. Oh, we always got to look at, you know, reduced buggy, okay? Wasn't nothing there I needed. But I do need some onions. Always. So let's go check them out. Well, they got these nice yellow onions here. Two forty-five for a three-pound bag. They're looking pretty darn good. Nice size, too. I'm going to pick me up a bag. Of course, I could get those sweet onions over there. Five fifty-one for a five-pound bag. Now, these will work just fine. See, the cart's mostly fresh food, right? Well, let's get some tomatoes. There's some right there. Large tomatoes. $1.05 per pound. And I already got three. <laughs> Y'all didn't even see it, did you? Yep. Of course, I got a little six-pack there for two thirteen each. They got green tomatoes, dollar eighty-four for four pack, and for a four pack, a small to medium, red tomatoes, dollar thirty-eight. And they got Romans over here on the other side, in case you want them. And they're gonna run you a dollar thirteen a pound, separate, or two thirty-eight for a twenty-ounce pack. Yep. Now these clustered tomatoes normally come yep from Canada I think. Yep. No. These are from Mexico. Huh. They have been from Canada. Now there you go. Nothing wrong with that. But those big large ones, they look fine. And they got flavor. I'm not sure where they come from. But I know a lot of people complain about store tomatoes ain't got no flavor. Well, these always have. And I enjoy them. And plus, keeps me from having to try to, you know, spend 20 grand on a greenhouse. Yep, that I'll never get the money back from. Just say. Well, we need some pepperoni, too. It's been forever. Let me grab some. It's going to run me $3.39. Yep, that's a want, too, not a need. $3.39, six ounces. Got to have it, though. Well, I don't got to. I want to. We're a little slim on the bologna, but we got Lunchables. Not sure what's going on with bologna. We got Bar S there for $1.64. For uh, a pound, and of course Ziegler, that'll run you three fifteen a pound. My personal favorite, and if you can find it and you can try it, is guac, grape bologna. This stuff has got flavor. 
and it's a buck 63. It's not the cheapest. It's, it used to be before Bar S came around. Well, it's actually one cent below Bar S now. Hmm, I'm telling you, try Guatney. Yeah, it's got flavor. It'll beat Oscar Mayer any day. My next favorite is Brian, which they're a little slim on. Plenty of sandwich meats we don't need. But we do need some dogs, hot dogs that is. We get, you know, ballpark, 419, you know. Yep. Or the Angus, because, you know, that's all crap about what cow comes from, but that's just what I know after raising cattle. I'd rather have a white-faced Hereford any day, but anyway, you can see the prices. Ballpark's real proud of theirs. We can get Brian up here for 15 ounces for 202, or 12 ounce regular size for a buck 66. They got the juicy jumbos, 202, and uh, that'll be 12 ounces. Oh no, they got a 15 ounce, and those are 15 ounce. Beefy jumbos, 349. But we're going to go down here and get us the old classic. Oh, let's, let's go a little, a little bit higher class instead of bar S. We're going to go with the Guadri. We're going to go with flavor. $1.72 for one pound each. Woo, they finally got Koneka back. There they got Kelly's smoked sausage, 404, one pound. Of course, Koneka, one pound is 441, 454, price range. Kelly's good, but Koneka, if you ain't ever had it, you don't know what you're missing in life. And our sausages are 361, for Tennessee Pride, hot, 306. Mild. Jimmy Dean. Mild. And hot. Looks like 372. Where Dean's is 220. For mild. Or you can go down here and get Carolina Pride for 304. Bar S 12 ounce bacon, 466. Brian, 12 ounce, 453. Now something wrong. Well, I'd rather have Brian any day than Bar S. Brian's cheaper. Woo! Guatley. $4.98. They're proud of their bacon. Carolina Pride, $4.81. We ain't even gonna talk about these here. That's way out of our price range. We down here in our price range here. You know. Aberdeen Farms, 12 ounces, 295. Yep. And though I really would like to get me some of this Sunnyland Hotel brand. You know, that's my favorite. Ooh, 504, huh? No. No. We're just gonna go ahead and go with the irregular sizes value bacon. In the Aberdeen Farms. It comes under that. It's bacon. It's good enough. Okay. You see right in there where they do the magic. Cut their own meat and everything. You see that right there? Oh yeah. They got it going on. Plenty of rice. Plenty of that there rice for people who can't cook regular rice. Or don't want to. I ain't going through the prices. We'll just look here at long green white rice. That's a 289 for five pounds. Food club. Well, you can go over there and get the China doll. Let's see. The high class rice. And uh, that's $1.87. And uh, not sure how much. 
Hmm. Two pounds. Rice is rice. And I go with there with enriched long grain white rice. Plenty of beans and peas. Yeah. Still looking good. Hey, raging Cajun. Authentic rice dress. Now I've heard about that stuff. Down there at Kelly's Corner. Down there in the swamps of lower Louisiana. She makes authentic rice dressing all the time. Yeah, and this one says she's born. Probably didn't say that right. Hey, dollar ninety-seven. I can treat myself to some of this. Looks like they make it in the same kind of aluminum pan Kelly does too. You want to see it made authentic Cajun style? You go to that Kelly Corner channel. Or you can go with that Southern Boy Preppers channel too. I think he showed it. But I'm gonna give this a go. Maybe. I'll share it with all of y'all if you drop by. Hmm, buck 97. Hey, I'm eating 14 year old, or no, eight year old rice aroni. Save money. So, hey, this can be a treat, right? Plenty of juice. Plenty of hamburger helper. Oh, we got some rice aroni here. And if you didn't watch my last video on how long will it last, you wouldn't even know that this will go eight years and still be darn right tasty. But it'll run you a buck 34 now. Back in the day when I was a child, yeah, it's something like 20 cents a box or less. Of course, you can get the rice melody here from Food Club. Looks like vermicelli and rice with some kind of flavor and chicken. 91 cents. Hmm. There's that creamy four cheese that I showed you just the other night when you stopped by the country kitchen. Huh. I wish they had the wild rice. Oh. There's the food club brand. Rice Melody. Long green and wild rice. Hey. What the hey? We'll go with it. I'm getting a little low on eight-year-old rice roni. Hey, how you doing, ma'am? I'm doing good. I'm talking to my people. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. Always glad to talk to real people. <laughs> how you been doing? Um, I can't complain. I'm on top of the ground. The ground ain't on top of me. Hey, I'm telling you. I'm so proud I'm still on top because it's been a tough two years. I'm you. Let's see. We got a hamburger helper. That's got pricey, too. $1.96. We know how to make that ourselves. We do got some in the pantry, though. I won't lie. Bell Vita, two for five. Of course, I got that deluxe. Food Club, you can get two for three. If I was needing macaroni and cheese, that's what I'd get. Or, you know, we can always get the old standby. Just a regular old mac and cheese dinner. 56 cents for Food Club. Yep. We ain't got none of that there hype. Oh, there's the cheesiest, you know, macaroni and cheese craft. Buck 24. No. Suddenly salads, 2.43. Good thing I know how to make them without a box too. Well, let's check the list and see what else we need. Yeah, we got the Hunt's tomato sauces down here. My favorite. Might not be yours. It's way down here where you got to bend down. For seven a can. Just always worked out right for four people. That's one pound can. This Italian sausage is pretty tasty. Yep. It surely is. Four cheese ain't bad either. Now you can get up here and get the high class ones. You know, like Clasco. 283. Or get you some of that there ragu brand for 238. Or you can go down there and get the food club for $1.42. Well, those of us who are in the know know Hunt's is the way to go. Or you can get the little one over here. Pasta sauces. Garlic and herb. 
yeah not sure what the price is but if you're into convenience do it plenty of spaghetti yeah here's some of that fettuccine right here 12 ounces dollar fifty of course I got food club egg noodles 96 cents Boy, let's see how many now you have to look at that 12 ounces now of course you want to go down here and get the wrong code egg noodles those will run you at buck 98 or medium egg noodles dollar 83 they're all 12 ounces of course fancy pots are going to cost you way more or you can get you some of that vermicelli like what comes in rice roni but notice you know they snip it up really small same length as the rice almost two pounds of that will run you 277 thin spaghetti yep seven ounces 89 cents oh my god that Ronco's shrinking it baby angel hair 12 ounces buck 50 it's just hard to find a bargain these days surely is those poor folk are in trouble and our good old chef boy R.D. up to buck 07 well, we might as well throw in a few you know for those quick lunches and midnight snacks when I'm working away editing videos even potted meats getting expensive 56 cents for the brine that's three ounces I know y'all are saying yuck now you want the big can 5.5 of our mirror that's 86 us poor folk know the value of potted meat though all kinds of chilies you can see the prices just stop the video take a look at them. wolf brand with beans buck 76 one of my personal favorites brine of course that's chili no beans 220 you know armors another one of my favorites of course that's no beans there and with beans with beans buck 57 no beans 217 a can and those are your 14 ounce cans and then down there castleberries if you ain't never had the castleberry brand that's some good stuff for canned food the brunswick stew ain't too bad for brunswick stew in a can i'm saying or the beef stew and i mean it's a lot cheaper than denty more you know 213 for the brunswick stew 272 for the beef stew and let's see how much comes in that can now well that would be one pound four ounces yeah, 20 ounce can 272 for the beef stew or you can go down there and get the food club brand beef stew in the can if you know you're stocking up for whatever may happen in the future for 229 man didn't you more down there it's going to cost you two what 284 yeah okie doke but this is right here where you stock up on things. Like them little canned hams from Bristol, 329. Armor treat for $1.92. Yep. Not to be confused with spam. Yep. Now I'm gonna get a couple of BN sausages. Not many. I think I'll get four. 70 cents. Oh my lord. Ain't been all that long. They were 45 cents. Then, of course, we got sardines of different flavors and types for $1.07 a can. And then tuna. We all know it's went way up. Star Kiss to run you buck fifty-two for the albacore in the five-ounce can. Their chunk light tuna, 95 cents. Bumblebee chunk light tuna and vegetable oil, dollar a four. And bumblebee chunk light tuna in the water, dollar oh four. Now you want to get the big can of star kissed, whether it 
is in water or vegetable oil, you know, that 12 ounce can, that'll run you 230. And salmon, hmm, 386. Yep. That's 14 ounce cans too. Pretty much all the same. Double Q will run you 330. Now, you can always go cheap with the Pampa Mackerel in brine for $1.35. Now, I'm not a real fan of mackerel. I have tried it. Just ain't tried it where I'm real fond of it yet. Hmm. But at least we still got tuna and salmon. Plenty of chilies. And look at the canned good owl. Plenty of it. Plenty of rotel. One of my favorite ingredients. And yep, canned veggies have went up. You know, you can look right here. Old kernel corn, 15 and a quarter ounce can, 70 cents. That's smart. Go down here to whole kernel sweet corn from Libby's, 85 cents. Or you can go down here and eat some of that there high class Del Monte kernel corn for $1.44. I'm not going to go through all these prices. When I need some of it, I'll tell you what the price is. You can see some of it right here. I forgot the beanie weenies. They went up too. Everything's going up. Here we are over at the coffee. That stuff's supposed to be run out by now. They still got my favorite brand. Wright's Mill for 281. That's that's the same. The folders down here, depending on what you get. There's a coffee house folders. 9.95. Decaf. 1006. Yep. Classic roast. 30.5 ounce. Ten dollars and thirty-eight cents. I scored on a bunch of these for just over six bucks. Same thing, classic roast. Somebody on Amazon I think made a mistake. And I got me a case. Or I think it was. 638, if I remember correctly. Yep, coffee has got extreme. We still got some. Well, I need some coffee filters, though. And as always, you should have some of this here. Instant coffee. Like taster choice. House blend. Freeze dried. My personal fame. Anybody in the military has had taster choice. 811 for seven ounces. Yep. We can get the Maxwell house there. Eight ounces. Good to the last drop. 557. Folders deep calf. 302 for eight ounces. Or the red diamond for seven ounces. 002. Hey, they even got 8 o'clock coffee. I used to love that in the A&P. You throw the beans in that machine and grind it right there. A&P always smelled like fresh ground coffee. Y'all remember that? And you got the little bricks here now. The Maxwell House. That are now 11 ounces, depending on what kind you want. 375 to 412. Yep. So, that's a gander at coffee. But, I'm stocked up for probably two years now. I didn't want to buy a case, but that was the only way it came. So, I'm good now. Plenty of that there oatmeal, grits, which is always good to have on hand. And it don't get no cheaper. And hey, pulp oak, grits, and oatmeal have got us through a many a mornings. It surely has. 
but I need some coffee. And they're gonna run me a dollar five for about 150 of them. Even though they ain't the right size for my coffee maker, I know how to make them do. I have scissors. It's hard to find the number two anymore. Plenty of tea. I like tea. One of my favorite brands is Louisiana. Right here, fine stuff, specially blended for iced tea. Yep, costs three thirty-two for twenty-four family size bags. Or you can get down there and get some decaffeinated food cup two oh eight for twenty-four family size. And those family size bags. You know, make a quart of tea. They ain't per glass. There's a hundred regular tea bags, in Louisiana for two sixty-two. And then red diamond ain't bad either. And I used to be a big Lipton fan. But they getting too proud of theirs. And it, theirs always has a bite. Louisiana. Louisiana is smooth. I'm telling you. And there's the cookie out. Plenty of bag cereals over there. Woo! Y'all quit begging for chips a whore. Look at the price. I mean, 308. My, I mean, no. And how many ounces is that? You know, I'm all about the ounces. That's 13 ounces. I mean, a pound of cookies. That's above my $3 maximum per pound. You're going to say, well, that's for meat. Nope. It's pretty much for everything. Except, you know, a couple of splurges. We're going to get over here in the, right here. I'm going to get you some of these. They're healthy. Plus, they're not. They, they're ice. And these are little Dutch made for 89 cents for 10.5 ounces. These will work. And I love a couple of them in the morning with a little bit of milk. Makes for a nice breakfast. Sort of takes the sting off that coffee in my empty stomach. And we go out and get to work. That one had a broke one in. Let's get this one. Yep. And since y'all are begging, I'm going to get you some of these assorted creams. Right here. I mean, this is 25 ounces for a buck 83. They just like Oreos? Come on now. I've ate these all my life. Little Dutch made. They good. Davey didn't mind. And I need some saltines. Let's see. They got Zesta down there for $2.94. Or premium. I think those are going to run me $2.84. They're all out of the cheap ones. Food Club. Oh no, there's Food Club. Buck fifty for a pound of saltines. The salted. We'll go with them. I mean they're crackers. How bad could they be? Woo! I love them goldfish. That's for the holidays. I'm sure they done got pricey. Oh yeah, seven twenty five. For that big box of them down there. But if you're really hankering them, they are yummy. And there's our canned cheese. And that's splurge too. And we're gonna pick up can of the cheddar for 215. I know people in Europe and that, and especially the UK and Germany are going, oh my god, that ain't real cheese. Well I know. But you know how we Americans are. There's just something about this that brings back my childhood. When my daddy first brought a can home. Because he was curious. Of course, I could get the easy cheese up there by Nabisco. 414. Hey, I just got two cans. 
for nearly the same price as one of that. You know, it'll be okay. I like this stuff on my celery. Yep, I could cut up real cheese and put it on my celery. I know, I know. Give me a break, okay? At least I didn't get the Oreos for $3.53 a package. So, hey, I'm sacrificing. Woo, Keebler's proud of their cookies, too. 306, it's 318. Hmm, 12.6 ounces. Oh, cheese, it's a good, yummy, too. I don't think they're that yummy. 250 a box. And that box keeps getting smaller and smaller, don't it? Yep, plenty of cereal. But we still got some Cheerios to eat up and some Frosted Flakes from last time we were here. You know, back in January. Whew, chunky soups, 292. Yep. And it looks like Campbell Soups. They're anywhere. You know, from, oh, it looks like about $1.82 to $1.84. for chicken noodle. You know, vegetable beef, $1.82. Tomato, $1.54. What's that cream of chicken? And cream of mushroom. Well, cream of mushroom and cream of chicken is only a dollar a can. I still got plenty. So that's a good price in my mind. Of course, Food Club will be cheaper. 74 cents for their cream mushroom. 66 for the Food Club tomato. So yeah, if I was buying, I'd probably get Food Club. Just saying. Plenty of them there. Ramen noodles, six packs for $1.43. And those Manchurian instant lunch, 37 cents one of them you know in this little styrofoam cup a couple of needles though cost you 51 cents a cup let's go over here and check this meat out okay i know that's what you want to look at and here we are over at the manager specials then we got us what looks appears to be a nice t-bone there the way it's cut though you call that a porterhouse yeah, and that's been dropped down to nine dollars a pound. Filet mignon been dropped down to thirteen a pound. Well, those are some nice looking T-bones. I think I have some in the freezer though. And that's oh, there they are, top blade charcoal steak. Right there. You know, I'm just talking about them. Did a video about these. They're yummy. $4.99 a pound if you want just a little steak and not a feast. There you go. Charcoal steaks. I got some though. So I'm going to let them slide for somebody else. Ribs, St. Louis style, cost you $4.30 a pound. Of course, these tenderloins for 18.4 ounces. Or anywhere from 512 to 712 a package, you know, from Smithfield. Ooh, look at there. Spare rib brisket. That's pork. 225 pounds. Those are tasty. Then we got up here our bonus country style ribs. Now, granted, that's bonus, 325 a pound. And we got our one of my personal favorites. Cube pork tenderloin, 375. Whew. You bread these up with a good seasoned bread. Whew. Fry them on up. Get that little crispy crunch going. Yeah, buddy, these are yummy. Yeah, there's some more of them boneless style country ribs, 325. I prefer the bone because there's more flavor in the bone. Like down here, St. Louis style, country style ribs. Woo, 4.30. Another thing that's yummy is pork stew meat boneless. That's $1.99 a pound. Now you make stew with pork stew meat, 
You may never go back to beef. I'm telling you. Plus you can do it in crock pot, folks. But down here we got them there country style. They're the real country style with a bone, 230 a pound. Pork rib end chops, $1.90 a pound. And the loin first cut chops, I'm gonna run you $1.80 a pound. Yeah, pork's going up too. Ooh, there's some thick sliced. Center cut, $2.20 a pound. Yeah, buddy. Where you can get a quarter pork loin thin slice, $2.05 a pound. Or there's a, a pork loin quarter sliced for $1.95. They're cutting them thin nowadays, folks. Make them stretch. There's a half of a pork loin sliced for $2 a pound. And the pork steak family pack is $1.99 a pound. There's where I'd go if I was going. Now, you can go over here and get you a Boston buck for a buck eighty a pound. Make you some of that pulled pork I showed you in that video. Or you can go over here and get you a pork roast loin in. Ooh, season that baby up and cook her low and slow. Slice it off. Ooh. You'll be in heaven for a buck sixty a pound. Here's a little fun fact. Do you know your what the color of your rind on your cheese means? Well remember folks, black rind is sharp cheddar. This is the Royal brand. Wax Daisy Hoop Cheddar. And your red right here is your mild. Just a little fun fact. Ooh, 5.99 pounds. Oh, no. We can't do that. Or you can get some real American cheese. 5.22 pounds. No. Let's see what this hamburger is going to run us. Per pound. And we're going to look right here. At my preferred mix. 73 lean, 27 pack. Because... The flavor's in the pack, folks. And you can always drain it. How hard is that? Do I need to show you how to use a tablespoon and get the grease out? It's 275 pounds. Of course, for high class people, that ground round will run you 450 pounds. Yep, ground chuck, 355 pounds. Yep. Or you can get two meat here. You know, not sure what's in there. It says it's a product of the United States. And that's two fifty a pound. Yep. Twenty-five cents less, but I can't see it. I don't know. <laughs> but for those of you who don't mind, there you go. Or, you know, if you don't know how to make hamburger patties, you can go up here and pay three dollars a pound. Three seventy five a pound? Woo. Yeah, I'll make my own. There's 80-20, 355 pound ground chuck. Yep. Most of us, Popo, we buy that 7327. We know how to drain a little grease off without losing the flavor. There's some more charcoal steaks. Well, regular price, $6.99 a pound. And they're little. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, I've also talked to you about these Chuck Eyes, Butcher's Secret. Only two on a cow. And they're just as tender and tasty as a ribeye ever will be. $7.99 a pound. You see them, you gotta buy them. And these are some fine ones. I already got some though. So I'm gonna leave them here for somebody. Maybe you'll come by and grab them. They're right here, see? Angus Pride, too. Top of the line. Cut right here. That's super piece. Or you can go over here and get choice ribeye. $14.50 a pound. You see what I'm saying? Look at that one. 
Look at those. I'm telling you. If you can find these, grab you up a couple. You'll be thanking Mr. Tom. And of course the beef cube steak. Ooh, six nine nine pounds. Hey, that means we go back down here. Get the chuck eye. Trust me. Don't worry about this here. Beef QB. Of course it is all Angus pride. But I want to see some Holstein. Yeah, some Jersey. It's beef. It's tender. It eats good. Bottom round steak costs six twenty-five pounds. Of course, beef sirloin used to be the steakhouse fan favorite, six ninety-nine a pound. Ribeye done told you, fourteen fifty. Yep. Yeah, that'll be for like a special occasion. Back to like maybe once a year. New York strips gonna run you thirteen seventy-five pounds. And the T-bone. Twelve seventy-five. Whew. But sirloin tip steaks. There's six fifteen right there. Chuck roast five ninety-nine a pound. That's been higher. Oh, we finally got some gizzards for a dollar twenty-five a pound. Gizzards and gravy. You can't go wrong. Got some chicken tenders back in stock. They're pricey though. And that's all about popularity. And people don't know how to cut up chicken breasts no more. Because that's all chicken tenders are. Sliced breasts. 325 pounds. Now the tenderloins are a whole different ball game. You know, they're right here. And that's that their big thick top piece on the on the breast. 325 pounds. But I like bone in breasts. Well, and you can go down here and get a cut up fryer for $1.75 from Springer. You know, it's one of those that's no hormones ever, no antibiotics ever, no animal byproducts in the feed ever. Yeah, $1.75 pound. They're good chickens, I'll tell you that. Fryer wings, the jumbo pack, $3.75. That's that popularity too. But you can see the chicken. It's a little on the slim side, but hey, that people are buying more chicken. There's the fire thighs, boneless, 245 pounds. There's in there fryer drumettes. That's my choice for when I make up party wings. 450 a pound. Down here where Mr. Tom buys chicken. Fire drumsticks are up from a dollar twenty-five. Remember, back in 2019, 70 and 80 cents a pound. Same way here, you know, with drumsticks. Drumsticks and thighs, dollar twenty-five. Bone in. Oh. Breast fillets will run you two eighty-five. You know. What else we got here? Of course, down here, we got right here, chicken leg quarters. And there's 10 pounds of them for 650. Yep. Well, that would be my way of going. Now, I know how to cut the drumstick away from the thigh. Hey, if you don't know how to do that and you want to learn how to save money, I can show you how. Just let me know in the comments below the video. And I want me some turkey. Yep, but I already know, seven seventy a pound for this boneless turkey. Whew, it's that there homogenized, mechanically separated, homogenized, made into a loaf. No, we ain't gonna do it. Pass it up. Now, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't buy no meat, but I did sneak back on you. And look right in there. I got me some of that pork stew meat. Cause I'm gonna make me up, not some beef stew, but some pork stew in the crock pot. Woohoo! Plenty of flour there. Yep. Depending on what kind you want, 
you know, white lily. That'll run you 373 for, oh, five pounds. 343 or 341 for Pillsbury Best. You know, that's that self-rising flower. Or you can get Blue Seal over here, self-rising. Let's see, that'll run you 250. Martha White, 313. Or you can go over here and get the Food Club brand. Of course, it does look like they only got two pound for $1.03. But they do got the five pound all purpose over here for $1.87. Probably be my choice. I'm just saying. Yeah, we don't need any of the foods here. Nope. We don't need us none of them there tamales, even though they I make up a thing with cheese and some stuff like rotel and all that, or you can use salsa with those hormel tamales. It comes out darn right tasty. Yeah, a can of them will be 163 or I think they got some there for $1.34 too. Those are chicken tamales. Yep. And that pace there, 255. And I do like my salsa. But, probably be going down here with the that smart. 15.5 ounce. Think about that. I, I know for a fact that it used to be 16. Now 15.5. Dollar 16. And then the chunky salsa down here. 255 for the one pound jar. Or you can make a run for the border over there on the boater for 214. Yep, I think I got some. And if I don't, I know how to make it. Just saying. I'm good on the tortillas. A little bit slim though, but they got some. And that's another thing people are buying. You know, tortillas are cheap. You can do a whole lot of things with them. And actually, it's better for you than sliced white bread. Plenty of sugar. And boy, it's went up. I'm telling you, they got plenty of it over here. But you can go still get your 10 pound bag of Domino. Pure cane for 836. The way to go. Because when you get up here, Yep, it's 100% made in America, 25 pounds, 13.94. But it don't say pure cane, because it's made from sugar beets, which are 95% of them grown in America now, or GMO, if it means anything to you. But you can go down here and get you some food club, 10 pound, of course that is also sugar beet for 6.51. It's just, you know, if you don't mind GMO, then get the one that don't say pure cane. If you do, make sure it says pure cane sugar. We've talked about this before, folks. And the oils, yep. Well, they got some here on sale. Wesson vegetable, 48 fluid ounces, two for seven. Yep, vegetable oil means Soybean. Corn oil food club. That's 411. Most likely GMO for 48 fluid ounces. Or you can go old school and get you a pound of that there armor lard. Woo, you can make some fine biscuits. $1.84 for the one pound package. Hey, best buy. December 06, 2023. But I'll tell you what, lard lasts a lot longer than that. <laughs> yep, peanut oil is expensive. We ain't going to look at that. Nope. I mean, right there, one gallon, $14.13. Or the food club, 1444. Mm mm. Woo. If you want to get this picnic, 1555. For a gallon. Or you can go up here and get 48 fluid ounces. 
for 566. I just say no, and I stick with the extra virgin olive oil. And that's something I'll say. Extra virgin is more green, not lighter. See? Light, darker, see? And it's in a clear bottle. I'm telling you, the darker the green, the more virgin the olives were. I'm just saying. But, you know, 25.5 fluid ounces running 524. And that's all because there's a definite olive oil shortage due to all the trees getting burnt down and killed by drought. Yes, sir. We don't need nothing in the spice out, but there's plenty of salts and spices and peppers. I remember when there wasn't. It looks pretty well stocked, don't it? We got plenty of laundry detergent, aluminum foil, all that kind of stuff. You know me. I stretch my aluminum foil. You know, I'm one of those there crazy folk that washes his aluminum foil and reuses it. Yep. Just like my mama did, my grandma, and my great grand. Look at all that. Look at all them there. Return of the mason jars. Huh? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. How you doing? I'm hanging in there for an old guy. Oh, who's old? <laughs> yeah, we getting old. <laughs> yeah, old. It's always good to see you, man. Good to see you too, bud. Have a good day. You too. But they got these quilted crystal jars from 904 for 12 of them. Those are half pints. We can go on down here, get the pint jars, and you get 12 of them. And it does look like those are 1109. Yeah. They got the half pints here. 440, 427. Looks like there's four of them in there. Yep. I'm not sure these are bigger ones. 28 ounce jars. Hmm. Not sure the price. They're spiral jars. 574. Huh. Something new. Yeah, they go they make a spiral, see? Like the old Coca-Cola bottles. Yeah, that's cute. I don't need them. Yeah, somebody done come, got all the lids. Imagine that. Whether they need them or not. I've seen people on YouTube. They just go in and buy everything there. And then they go home and stack it up. You know, with the mountain of stuff they already got. Because you know, there'll never be no more. And cat food is still slim. It's better. But not great. I can't figure that one out. But I am thankful between me and many of you out there, Kitty Crew is well stocked up. Spooky's always reminding, say thank you, thank you, Pop, to our fans. <laughs> oh my. And of course, Kitty Letter. Gotta have it. And little Gracie. And a little bit prefer fresh step. Just say. So of course, that's what we're gonna do. Oh 14 pounds, 781. Okay, I wanna get a couple of smellies. You know. I like these after rain from Renews It, 90 cents each. You know, the youngins say old people smell it's that old people smell so hey let's give it some after the rain smell i like to chunk one in the bathroom my bathroom's in the center of the house and it's got a pan yep yeah. uh non-stop freshness that's what we need and of course uh, hand wipes and you know disinfectants and all that looking good okay we got their potty stuff. And the doggies look like they're doing good, but yeah. 
I've been noticing dog food starting to get slim too. And I can't find any reason for any of that. Hmm. I'll have to dig a little more. We gotta take care of our furry friends, people. I'm telling you. Now I did cheat and get me some pimento cheese from Reezers. Yeah. And some tuna. Because I'm working out in the yard a lot. I like to come in and get them. And then, you know, in all truthfulness, I'll show you. It's pricey. It's a want. Not a need. And I paid $3.47 for that 12-ounce thing of Reesers. Southern pimento cheese. I could make my own, but like I say, when I'm working outside, I want to run on in. I don't got nothing prepared. It works. And the tuna salad was two seventy three. Now I did cheat some more and get me this here big old whopping three pounds of mustard potato salad. Even though I make some really yummy ones, you know. And that run me four eighty nine. Hey, they got some hams down here. Dollar sixty five a pound. Shank portion ham. That ain't bad. Anyway. I didn't want to do nothing behind y'all's back. Woo! Now this is the good stuff. Smoked hog jowls. Man, three nine nine a pound for hog jowls? Well, it is smoked. That used to be dirt cheap. Woo-hoo! Country cracklings. Right there, six ounces. Don't know how much. Yep. Got some salt pork there for $4.99, 12 ounces. Well, you can get you some of these here. Big old bone-in ham steaks. $2.99 a pound. One penny underneath my three-pound limit. Yeah, well, I already broke that, I know. And there's the Hormel. Hormel. Ham, water added. Yep. Those are, you know, pretty tasty. They're not like the Bristol's. They're actually more, more, they're not chunky ham. They're more like those there sliced up Kentucky legend ham. You know what I mean? But if you're ever curious, get you one. They do gotta be refrigerated though. Just in case you wanna live on the wild side. Still got some turkeys. Oh, 10% off. Pork tails right there, 220 a pound. Ooh, you can make you some fine soup with those. Or you can get you some pork malls down here for 275 a pound. Y'all look that up. We got some Jenny O turkeys down here. $1.90 a pound for the tender and juicy Jenny O's. That'd be a good thing if I had room in the freezer. Hog Jowls, three forty-eight for the Royal brand. Yep, one point two pounds. Okay, you throw in a hog jowl and a pot of beans, you talking about flavor? Just slap your pants off. It's all you need. We don't need no charcoal. If we do any barbecuing, we'll just pick up sticks. Make charcoal. Ain't hard. And we got paper plates here. That is something else that's got ridiculous. And you can't even find like the great value cheap paper plates. Every time I look, they slap out. Paper plates done got ridiculous. So, when I'm out, I'll be washing plates. And paper towels, as we all know, has got ridiculous too. I'm good with them, because I scored another score on Walmart. And I had to buy them by the case, but they were cheap. They were cheap enough for me to buy them. We're gonna pass up 
the Gatorade here, even though you did see me drink a Gatorade the other day. That stuff's got ridiculous. Of course, it is cheaper here in the convenience store, which is where I stopped in and paid two sixty-four. And I could have got it here for a dollar oh seven, but the convenience store was just two blocks down from the house while I was getting gas for the mower. Well, surely we don't need no feminine hygiene products or toilet paper or candy. We're just going to keep on easing by. Y'all hush up. You ain't getting no chocolate. I'm already seeing some stuff thrown in there in that cart anyway. Yeah, it looks like we've got plenty of bottled water. I've heard tell. That's in short demand too. It'll make no sense. Plenty of sodas and yes, you saw me drink a Panta. But we're going to ease on through here. And we're going to resist the temptation to get some more. I actually found those back behind some stuff down on the floor in the country kitchen. Left over from Davy. Don't know how old they are, but they still were tasty. There was only like four. And milk. 484 a gallon. And yes, we're gonna go ahead and get a gallon's worth, because if we go with the 264 for just one, we'll just go with a gallon and drink more milk, hopefully not get too fat, okay? So hey, are you satisfied now? I bought a gallon. We run out of room in our cart. Good thing we ain't got much more to go. We don't need any of this stuff, coffee creamer, juices, orange juice, no. But we're gonna go down here where we can feel the pain. Cause if y'all don't know it, eggs have went up. And it's all about that avian flu. Infecting all our chickens here in the US. Yeah some 30 states now or no 33 states have issues with avian flu in their poultry flocks both egg layers and broilers you know for meat look there 272 for a dozen medium remember 73 cents i showed it to you extra large 344 dozen Large, 324 does. It ain't Superfood's fault. Yeah, when I last looked yesterday, 33.5 million chickens had been affected. In other words, been put to sleep. Affected is the nice word. And down here, you can get you an 18 count of large for 470. Or you can go down here and get the two and a half dozen right there, 30 eggs, four, and they're large, 857. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I remember when those were like four dollars or less. I have to look on my shopping videos. And that's a good thing. You can look back on my shopping videos and see the prices all the way back 2019, 2020, 2021, maybe even 2018. And we got some of those grands. There's those cinnamon bone. 443, no. Pizza crust, 298. Oh, a pizza crust? No. I showed you what to do. Get Mrs. P's and jazz them up. And look at that. Two pie crusts. That'd be one for the bottom, one for the top. 239. That's food club. Pillsbury. 378. Hey, if you can't make pie crust, then you just can't do. I'm telling you. So we're going to pass all this by. Another thing we're going to pass by is that aisle right over there. We ain't a stopping. Even though I want to. But I'm not. You know, I'm really hankering some. Some of them there, um. Uh, roll gold pretzels but I shouldn't have the sodium I got high blood pressure Fritos which and I might add 
I don't see over there except for the little bags down there. What's going on with Fritos? Plenty of lays, but I mean, look at this. $2.65 for some plain potato chips, seven and three quarter ounce bag. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know, there ain't one good potato in there. Maybe two medium potatoes. You should try making potato chips. It ain't hard. Butter? Oh yeah. It's went up too. You can get some of this Amish style. Salted by the way. Amish know what they're doing. 570. Or you can get the Amish country roll butter. Two pounds. 967. Ooh. Or you can go down here where the poor folks shop. And get you some of that there soft spread. Food club. 45 ounces. 390. Yep, it's margarine. It'll be okay. Now my favorite, Parquet, 372. Yep. Look at that, made with non-fat real milk. It don't get no better than that now. And that's 41 ounces. And you know they took all those trans fats out, which make margarine bad. Now, margarine good. Blue Bond will run you 329. Nah, I'm not picky. But I do got to get some butter. Woo. Now you can go down here and get this food club margarine right here. One pound for $1.33. That's just like back in the day right there. But I'm going to get me some of that salted sweet cream butter. 442. Some food club. Land of Lakes would have cost me five forty one. Yep. Cheese is gone up too. Good thing we don't need too much. Oh me. My other desire want is always Philadelphia brand cream cheese. With chive and onion. Cream cheese spread. Yep, for my bagels. Yep. You see, rather than get chocolate and a whole bunch of those expensive cookies and chips, I do something like this. This is my extravagance. Yeah, cream cheese. Such is life. And the other thing, you know, I've been eating now because they said I needed to control my gut you know that flora and fauna you know as we get older I've been getting this here activity yep but they ain't got the kind I normally get which is the strawberry and the peach I love the peach and this stuff's got billions of live and active probiotics and it's pricey 646 for 12 of them yep so basically, it's about, you know, 55 cents a day. But it keeps the tummy running, you know, and in the lower end, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And I got a few left. So we'll slide for now. Maybe they'll get my favorite ones in. Plenty of, you know, ice cream there. Got that blue bunny. Right there, 43 ounces, 476. Salted caramel craze, vanilla fudge blast. I don't buy no ice cream except when Davy comes. And then you know, I'm bound to buy Mayfield for 301. You know. I know. Many of y'all were saying, you know, you're gonna go down here and get, you know, Bluebell. Now I'm hearing you. In a tub of it. Oh, it'll run you about 605 for a half a gallon. Mm-hmm. We're gonna stay away from these high-priced pizzas too. We're gonna go over here and get my favorite ones. If they got. 
You already know it, Mrs. Pease. Oh, now come on. Everybody's getting Mrs. Pease now. But they got my favorite kind, the Supreme. Yep. And I got a video showing you how to take this little 82 cent pizza, which used to be way cheaper, and turn it into a gourmet delight. Just right for one little old man for lunch or a midnight snack. Can't beat it. But it was a whole lot better when they used to be 70 something cents. Now yeah, I'm gonna get me one of these fast bites. Well, let's, let's splurge. We'll get two. They're a buck 21 each. That beats McDonald's and Jack's for a cheeseburger. You know, dollar 87. Here again, this is when I'm just too wore out to do anything. It ain't a need. Here again, it's a lazy thing. I won't. I think we're about done. And as you can see, from there, yeah, we did get a few wants, some cookies, cheap ones. Yep, some of those there, pre-made salads. I know you're gonna badmouth me. My cheap little pizzas, and a couple of those fast bite cheeseburgers. And yeah, a friend of mine turned me on to those. Sometimes friends turn you on to things that ain't too healthy. Thank you, Mr. Reagan Benoit, Southern Boy Prep. Yep, and of course, some cream cheese. Now I got me some Bianas for my day pack and some of that there Chef Boy RD original Italian canned pasta. And the rest was fresh foods and milk and saltines. So it ain't like a lot of junk food. So give me a break. And we got everything on the list. And of course, like always, a couple of extras. I know. But it's time to check out. And that's what we're going to do. So I'll see y'all again. Once we get to the house and get this unloaded. Now I hope y'all are going to help, right? And we'll see you then. Well, hello there, y'all. As you can see. Back on the front porch. Yep. Got home. Ran it all in the house. Got things put up, you know, in the freezer, the fridge, the cupboards. Yep. Crisper drawers, you know, all that stuff. The old fridge is a little bit bare, because you know, last time we went was January 26th. And if you watch, go back and watch that shopping video at the same place, Superfoods, it's where I go now. This year, well, meat starts getting low, we're gonna head on up to Car Match. You know we are. We got the finest meat, of course, I mean Superfoods meat. Ain't no slouch, it's good stuff too. But, you know, between the two, I can save some money. Just saying. You know, may not get it all at CarMax, but I'll work between the two to get the best prices and refill my freezer. That's if I ever get room in it. <laughs> but if you noticed, I didn't buy but that stew meat today for a buck ninety-nine a pan. I'm gonna make me up some fine pork meat stew. Yep. And if you ain't ever made a stew with a uh, uh, stewed pork meat, then you're just missing out on one of the greater goodnesses in life. But what did we spend today after, let's see, 26, February 26, March, April, because today is what, 28th? Well, yeah. So it's been three months since I went to Superfoods. And many of y'all ask, when are you going to Superfoods? When are you going to Superfoods? Why ain't you went to Superfoods? Is there a reason you're not going? Well, the reason is, back, I've always been prepared, you know, for natural disasters, job losses, uh, accidents, which I've suffered three uh, horrendous ones in my life that put me out of work for quite some time. And by the grace of God, I'm still here. But it took a long time to get back up on these feet. And if I had not had prepared some, I wouldn't have made it through it. Because there was no money left when I came out the other end of it. Trust me, there wasn't. Not even for food. So, you can only depend on others so much. Because, hey, everybody's good people up to a point, right? 
But anyway, in 2008, for whatever reason, I was pretty sure the world was going to have a global financial collapse. I just had that feeling, uh, that little voice. And we got very close, not only in America, but the entire world. But it never really happened again. It happened. I prepared for that. And I was preparing back then for five to six people. Not just one little old man and uh, the kitty crew. No. It was five to six. That's a whole lot different than preparing for one. Then came the CV. And uh, nobody knew how that was going to go. I don't care who you are. You say you knew how. Yeah. Those are people using hindsight and apparently lying to themselves and everybody else too because nobody knew how it was going to go. I didn't know. It could have been a virus that wiped out humanity down to, you know, like Charlton Heston and the last man on earth. Anyway, that's how I prepared for it. And I didn't prepare just for one. I prepared for myself, my son, my daughter, and my grandson. Four people. But, you know, except for some spot shortages. Uh, things got slim from time to time. Different things we couldn't get. There was always food to eat. Nobody starved. Unless they just wouldn't eat what was available, which was plenty. And I know some people like that. And it's sad that they'd just rather waste away and die than try to make a tasty meal from what's available. And there was plenty available. Never not one time were the stores completely bare, no matter how social media tried to make it look. So I prepared for that. And I may have went a little overboard because I didn't know how bad it was going to be. And it turned out so far not to be so bad. But there's still people out there every day, sometimes two and three times a day, all over social media, on different channel genres, as they call them, uh, that are convinced there's never going to be no more food here just any day now. I'm not of that opinion. But all that being said, I've been trying to eat down my stockpile of food. <laughs> yeah. And if you watch my How Long Will It Last videos, you know some of it goes way back yeah well you know what's left of the old stuff goes way back i've showed you eating uh canned goods and stuff from 2008 just recently showed you rice running was still good from 2014 so that gives you some idea so i really haven't had the need except for fresh and by freezing some of that you know like celery uh onion, other things, bell pepper, jalapenos, and that, that I, you know, go pick up fresh. See, I eat some of it fresh, fresh. Then I eat some of it fresh frozen, you know, throughout this here last three month period. And I share some of those dishes with you. But what did we spend today? Well, we spent... Oh, a total of 123 and uh, 53 cents. I don't know if you can see that. But that was with the 10% surcharge. Yep, Superfoods is plus 10% at checkout. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Plus, you got to pay tax. But over there, it's 8%. On the west side of the river, it's 10%. So I do save 2%. By shopping over here on the east side of the river instead of the west side yep and I check prices between Walmart and Superfoods and except for some of those great value products more often than not Superfoods is the same or cheaper especially in the meat department yep and the produce is always better and they got everything else and if I need something especially from Walmart, I go to walmart.com. And for the most times, 
They'll bring it right here, set it on these steps. It's magic. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I know it's a long one. So I hope you made up some of your favorite snacks. Maybe some popcorn. Yeah. And all of that. And treated it like a movie premiere. Yep. Because that's what I do. I don't worry about the shorts. The three minute videos. The five. I, I don't worry about all that. I do what I want to do. What I want to show and what I want to share. What I, what I want to teach educate you know and if a person looks at it and they ain't got an hour to spend of their time or more or they don't know how to watch you know how much they want now and come back and watch a little more whatever then hey it's a free world don't got to watch it to begin with nobody's holding your nose to the computer screen or the phone yep so I don't apologize for me being me and I do what I do. Some like it. Some don't. Hey, can't keep everybody happy. But I do hope those of you who stop by, especially those of you who've been with us, whether you're oldsters or younguns or new to the community, you're always welcome. And I am thankful, as is the Kitty Crew, that you could stop by. So we'll be taking some of those things you've seen us buy. And we'll be sharing some more tasty dishes with you. As the next three months go by. You see folks. I don't do YouTube for clicks or views. If you go back and see why I do it. I do it for my son, my daughters, and my grandson. And now. All of you out there too. My friends and my family. Here in our little community. So, y'all, I hope you're all sitting out on a wonderful, beautiful day, wherever you may be. The sky's cleared right up. There ain't a cloud in it. Well, there are some over there to the west. But right over me right now, it's bright blue and clear. And quite sunny, as you can see. But I got some of the kitty crew sitting here napping in the shade. Now, I may go get me a quilt and nap with them. Right there on the grass in the shade of that oak. When's the last time you done that? Laid out under a shade tree. Gazed up into the sky. Read your favorite book. Think about it. If you can't remember when you did it, get on out there. And enjoy life while we can. So until I, the kitty crew, you know, spooky, speedy, Cleo, Old Mr. Gray, Magoo, which is underneath the hedge. Yep. He's been hanging out the last couple of days. I still haven't caught him on camera. He's timid when he comes back. Yep. I don't know if it's because Mr. Gray don't like him. I've never seen Mr. Gray raise a paw to him. But we all know Cleo. Well, Cleo don't like nobody. Especially not Magoo. Yep. You know, and sometimes Elrod shows up when he can escape the house. And yeah. And Heathcliff only comes at night. And then, you know, we got little Gracie and Lily Bit, the two indoor queens. Yeah. They keep my life interesting. Trust me, they do. So, hey, until we see y'all on the next video, y'all take care. Stay safe. May God bless each and every one of you as you bless others. Goodbye for now. Well, there you are, Spooky. There you are. Spook, what's going on, buddy? Hey, you you got treats? Mr. Gray, you all Chinese-eyed. Laying in the shade, ain't you? you no, know, Speedy's over there. Getting all cleaned up, too. Well, hey. It ain't dinner time yet. But I might have a few treats for you. What do you think? Does that be okay with you, Speedy? Huh? Okay. Let me go in and see if I can get them. <laughs>